last time on Taverns and Caverns. We leave the grove and head east. Man, I wish we could have stayed longer. It was so relaxing. <laughs> but I digress. We continue along following Ekira's directions. Unfortunately, once we hit the ruins, we find a broken katana. Once we investigated further, we found a slain Shimaden samurai shortly after we found the one that was responsible. That Goldarian soldier, now mutated turtle, we found under Tiani Fortress earlier. Man, he was ugly. He thought he could ambush us, but he was no match for the purest fire. And I have to add, heavy metal was a success. I'm really hoping Stella likes her armor too. And now, we're so close to the border. Things are just looking up. I can feel it. Episode 87. Tempest of Koldar. Ashina's breathing heavily. That was easier than expected. I don't say that now. Ryan's surprised. I am surprised. <laughs> well, usually Roy goes down immediately, so. Yeah, That's so right? true. Nope. We're not used to having your help. <laughs> All right. So with him now gone, I will reveal the rest of the map. Just because I'm assuming you guys are investigating the rest of the ruins. You're trying to get through it. Yep. So after Turtle Man drops to the ground headless, as you all continue to look through the ruins, again, there are a couple more dead samurai in the back of the ruins you did not see. But there aren't any goods or anything of use or value, really, that's in these ruins. Again, so many people have traveled to these ruins that any treasures or anything like that would have already been nabbed at some point. So, unless you all want The general supposed to be here? No. Oh, okay. Thank God for that. No. That's all I was thinking was going to happen. I'm like, oh, we'll open this, this guy's ass. Yeah, you got back <laughs> I almost went hood there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, like the sweat off. I might take this guy's head with me. That's up to it's, you. That's huge. You can't take that with you. Sure, I can. I can we can make it. turtle soup, though. I ain't eating this. Oh, she don't want it, too. This used to be a dude. I ain't eating this. Oh, I look like Nomu. Oh. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say Nomu would. No, Nomu would eat this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> He'd probably get sick. This guy got <laughs> a, a Omni serum in him, man. Right, or like Yaga. Gang Gang green. Do not so, let so. Do not let Yom or Nomu in, in Ashai. No. Do not no. let Nomu in Ashai. He will eat a Yaksha. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna also, try to tie it up. Hmm? Just also want to say justice for Chiozi. Yes. There you go. <laughs> so as you do That's what you do, true. you know, you know, uh Ikaras or Ikaris mentioned that you know Lord Oshiro wanted to eventually meet you, but he did say there is a camp not far from the ruins within a, a small canyon that there typically are soldiers stationed at. You're not sure if it's the same soldiers that are here in the ruins that were from that camp, but you know that once you exit these ruins, you're in Shimaran territory. Do you all continue your journey to the camp into friendly territory? Oh, yep. yeah. So, I'm hyped up after that. Let's go. All right. So yeah. ties up the head with his hemp and rope and sling it over his back. Yep. All I didn't right. have to heal you guys at all. God damn. So, don't speak too loud now. Yeah, don't speak too loud. We're not done yet. So, <laughs> log out. Right said, log out now. Victory. <laughs> I know I said I know I said five thirty, but there's still a little bit more I want to get through the second. Victory. So, as you guys begin to leave the ruins, you find that there's nothing else in the ruins that comes out at you. It's just an old ruins, but there are a couple more dead corpses lying in front of you as you leave. But as you exit the ruins, you, there is a hill that heads down because you're up on a hill at this point. And as you go down the hill, it leads into Shimaran territory. And as soon as you step on friendly territory, you already get a fresh breath of air. You're just like, oh, I'm home. Oh. And about 20 minutes out, continuing east is where that camp is. So I'm as you all continue eastwards, Yome, your spiritual weapon is going to be gone at this point, just so you know. I'm going to reveal the canyon map to you. My twin. So to the top right of the current map, you should see me revealing something. Yeah, you see this area? Place your characters in the middle, bottom of the map. You're entering the canyon area. So there we go. as you all continue about 20 minutes 
past the ruins. Again, you reach a small canyon area, and inside the canyon, down below on the lower level of the canyon, there is a small camp that's set up. Make me some perception checks to see what you guys see. Ooh. Yomi with a 20. Stella with a 20. Hota ten. with a 4. Roy with a 10. So, Hota, you don't see this. You're looking down at the turtle head. You have your trophy. You just feel accomplished that none of one, none of you took a hit. You're just happy that, well, Roy took a hit, but none of you went down. You're just happy that that fight was went very smoothly considering how badly it went for the samurai. Let me just tell you guys that you guys were smart to surround him. His main attack was charging people. If he charged you and hit you, he would be able to basically knock you prone and stomp on you. Dealing 3d10 uh, plus 6 damage. Oh, Jesus. God. <laughs> yeah, so that was like his main shtick. But you guys were able to stop him in his tracks. So he wasn't able to do that. So, all of you spot the camp. There's a burnt out fire. There's some tents in the distance. Some boxes. It looks like a small little outpost of a camp. Where the Shimaran soldiers are. And Hota, again, you don't see any of this. But let me on reveal the map for you guys one hot second as you look down at the camp oh, again God. you've crossed the border of aloria into shimara you're in friendly territory you Say see about the drama to our mamas <laughs> you see at the camp there are dead samurai lying around the camp they're scattered all over it's not as a gruesome scene not nearly as gruesome as what you saw at the ruins, but they're all dead. You see blood pools of blood underneath them. And, you know, as you're looking down at this scene, what do you all do? Nowhere safe. It's time to set it the fuck off. And she pulls a rapier out and just starts walking. Uh, she knows my... look at... Oh, go ahead. Hmm? Go oh, ahead. I say there might be a different, different uh source than that turtle demon. Yeah, I want to investigate the bodies and see yeah, if it looks. Roy's going to do the thing, same thing. Try to investigate, see if it finds any tracks or all right, anything like that. So, as you guys are investigating, you have an eight on your investigation, Stella. Hot is got nat twenty with a twenty six. Roy with a fifteen. Stella, you are more looking around at. You know, much of their armor that's been damaged, you can't necessarily tell with an eight what really may have killed them. You just know that they're bleeding out. Definitely a weapon of some kind, but you don't know what kind of weapon. Hota and Roy, on the other hand, I'll say Roy and Hota, you guys look at the samurai's armor. None of their weapons are bent. Again, it's not a gruesome scene like it was in the ruins. I mean, still gruesome. They're dead people scattered around the floor here or the ground but you can tell steel blades cut through their armor and Hota with your investigation of a nat 20 with a 26 total you can see there's a shadow coming from the tent look alive the tent make me quick initiative checks or initiative rolls just to oh see who goes first and stuff oh six oh hotel with a six oh 18 i'll roll for the shadow i got a 15 okay so we have oh we have to roll ashina as well sorry ashina oh Ooh. oh ashina with a four yo man roy who, what's your dex who's got the better dex i know the plus two Plus one. Okay, so Yome's first. So it goes Stella, Yome, Roy, Shadow, Intent, Hota, and then Ashino Ruru. But Hota, you notice the shadow coming from the tent. And before anything happens, you see that shadow moving. The shadow knows you guys are there. You guys are talking and inspecting, investigating the camp. Whatever that shadow is knows you're there. A humanoid steps out of the tent very calmly. 
As they step out the tent, you notice a man in golden red armor. Oh, God. Steps out of the tent, and he has a book in his hand. No! We're in trouble. He's reading the book as he steps out, and he has two blades attached to his back. And he's got a golden mask on his face. Oh. oh! As he's reading this book, you don't know what it is. He's just reading it out loud. Day 26 at the borders of Aloria. I have come to realize that this is a losing war. The Koldarians are too strong. I don't understand why we're even camped here. It's not a vantage point. And he slowly looks up at the group as he's reading what sounds like a diary. Or a journal of some kind. And he slowly closes the book. He's got one hand behind his back. He's standing all proper as he's holding this diary in one hand. And he slowly shuts it and drops the diary onto the ground as he slowly looks at the five of you. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It seems that my transformed soldier was not strong enough to defeat you. He places his free hand that was holding onto the journal behind his back. He's got both his hands as he's standing straight and tall. He doesn't really come off as a threat at this moment. Obviously, he's intimidating. You know who he is. It's General, oh, yeah. it's General Renak, the, the Tempest of Cold Art, standing before you. Ashina, she is beginning to sweat underneath her helmet but as he places both hands behind his back both his blades are still sheathed on his back he just looks at you all to think that alliance soldiers or purifiers were able to teleport from the Amua ruins into the laboratory of tawny fortress escape The fortress filled with my soldiers, along with defeating the mercenary Garo after he had taken the Omni Serum to make yourselves all the way here, past the borders of Aloria into Shimara. That's prowess that I can commend. And he begins to walk to the side. He just steps over that samurai's body that's in front of him. He just, oh, excuse me, as he's talking to the dead samurai. And he turns and he looks at the five of you again. Your skills are formidable to take out not only Garo, but the altered soldier from the ruins who I am assuming killed the samurai there. And it doesn't seem like any of you are damaged or hurt. Very good. I am honored to speak with such experienced and well-trained soldiers. Tell me, who are you all and why have you run from my fortress? Are you part of the Shimaran Alliance with the others? Are you purifiers? What are you? Who are you? Answer me. We are... The purest fire. We came here to stop you. Oh, oh easy now, easy. Oh. He says that really <laughs> just... nervous. He easy. says that really, really nervously. He was trying to get home. Why would Stella's coughing that? into her fist. <laughs> oh. 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 Don't mind his cold. How did you know that we were in Tawny Fortress? Oh. <laughs> Baseless. Do you think? Do you think the prisoners would escape so easily without someone releasing them? Oh, I've known about you ever since I saw you leaving the cave beneath the fortress. I what? followed you. It was very simple. Your allies at that cove—they may not be alive any longer. <gasps> You're bluffing. Am I? How would I know you were here? He exchanges a look with everybody else. So, now that you all understand the predicament you're in, I'm assuming you know who I am. 
I am oh. General Ranak, one of the many generals that follows Emperor Ball of Cold Dog. I am an honorable man, unlike General Ma Wu. I have taken over General Ma Wu's position here in Aloria. Well, I guess we're not in Aloria anymore. We're 20 minutes from the, the borders, but I am a just and honorable soldier, and I understand and see talent when it is in front of me. I will give you two options. Option number one, as you... I'm sorry, you said you were the purest fires. Purifiers, I'm assuming. Your first option is to join me in return to Aloria and to work not only for me, but to swear your allegiance to Koldar and Emperor Ball and help us in destroying the disease that infects Ashai's lands. Moritai, the god the otherworldly god of the void. Or, option two, you deny my very merciful option one, and I slay you where you stand. I haven't had a good fight in quite some time, and my body does wish to see combat once more. These samurai here were nothing. Mere child's play. But you have proven to me that you all are skillful. So my hands are itching to grab at my blades. The tempest within me wishes to be released. Now, before you make your decision, I will give you a few minutes to talk amongst yourselves and discuss what you wish to do. But don't be foolish, because if you attempt to run, you will be killed like the animals just like the Shimarans here. And as you all look around, again, you're inside the lower portion level of a canyon. You get, you guys all begin to see Koldarian soldiers step out from above. They're surrounding the canyon. What do you all do? Hold the spits on the ground, for one. <laughs> the fuck are we supposed to do? We already fight against Muay Thai. The hell is he all about? Ashina's looking at the four of you. If we go back... I guarantee you, they will kill us yeah. or turn us into experimental beasts like like they did with the samurai at, at the ruins of Amiwa. Listen, I am no one's experiment. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen. We're fighting for our lives no matter where we go at this point. I died once. Why not again? What? what? Right? Nothing. <laughs> I'd rather not to experience that. Um, <laughs> dying is not in my plans today. As Good to know. As you all continue discussing, General Renaki looks to the side and he picks that, that book back up. He's reading it. Tick tock. Tick tock. Two Big more minutes, guy. friends. Two more minutes. It can we get a little bit more time? You're already five seconds into your two minutes. Tick tock. It's a lot of pressure. Listen, <laughs> General, what do you mean going against Muay Thai? We already do that by going against you. Oh, so you are indeed purifiers. That makes sense with your name being the purest of fires. We Koldarians have followed Emperor Ball, as you all know, to be the new emperor of Koldar after the passing of late Emperor Rudan. Rudan's son, Baal, has made it his mission to seek out the otherworldly god of Void, Moritai, and to rip the god from our plane of existence and either vanquish him completely or banish him from our plane of existence. The Omni Kami have failed to do this for many centuries. Emperor Baal believes that the Omni Kami are either too weak or too afraid to face Moritai. You all know Ashai has been devastated by the corruption of the Yaksha in Moritai for many centuries now. It is time we've taken it to onto our own hands. Don't you all agree? What's the tiger god that they have? Uh, name? The tiger god's Nimwa, but Nimwa. they captured Tioga, the turtle oh, god. Tioga. Oh. Why do I think it's... Maybe because T. 
<laughs> I miss Yaito. <laughs> Yaito. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> he'd be he'd be like shaking right now with his cup. His, his Yaito tea cup. be trying to leave. Yeah, he'd be like, he'd nah, be... not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, just reminded me, you said tea. <laughs> oh, tea. Yeah. It's that time again, adventurers. We have more breaking information just for you. So how many of you are either planning to or are currently working on your health and wellness? Do any of you find it difficult or even boring to do so? If so, then I've got just the pick-me-up to fuel your body and mind so that you can continue in on your adventures. Liquid IV is the category-winning hydration brand fueling your well-being, and their hydration multiplier is the one product you're missing in your daily routine. So you're probably wondering, what do I love most about Liquid IV? Well, for one, it comes in convenient packaging that allows me to take it on the go. Not only can I bust it out at any moment, it makes me feel buffed and ready to take on any challenges that come my way. Think of it as a potion that helps increase your endurance. Who doesn't like being buffed? Just ask Rogar. Oh yes, I love being buff. If you're someone who requires good taste, don't you worry. Liquid IV comes in plenty of different flavors that is guaranteed to quench your thirst. Tropical Punch, Watermelon, and Acai Berry are just a few of the flavors that you'll have access to. It contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. Liquid IV believes that equitable access to clean and abundant water is the foundation of a healthier world. So what are you waiting for? Get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code TAVERNSCAVERNS at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code TAVERNSCAVERNS at liquidiv.com. And now we continue our adventure. No, I'm not joining them. The I'm Omikami not. are too weak. Why do you need Tioga? Because in order to fight a god, you must have the powers of a god. We are but mere mortals. But with the powers like of the Omnikami me. at our side and in our hands to where we can control it. As you've seen, we've been able to transform our soldiers into devastating troops. Our shock troops were able to take Aloria within months of the start of the war. It's only a matter of time until the rest of Ashai falls to Koldar. The only reason we've waged war against everyone is because no one agrees to union or to band together and to take the power from the Omikami for ourselves. Only Emperor Baal understands this. The nations of Mazugro and Shimara do not understand this purpose. The longer they fight, the more it hurts everyone in Ashai. You're literally turning people into monstrosities. Indeed. In order to understand the god, Moritai of the Void, we have to take what his essence is, the corruption that creates the Yaksha, and we must experiment with this power. The more we understand of the Yaksha, the more we understand of the God that creates them. And once we understand the power that the God creates, we can find a weakness to him. Do you understand what I'm saying? Not really. You're trying really hard to justify this, and I just think you're an asshole. <laughs> I agree with Stella. You have 30 seconds left. What are you going to decide? We ain't doing shit, ho. And then Stella, uh, <laughs> oh lord, <laughs> that's ho. Forgive mm-hmm. me, but you, I assume, come from Tirister. That is verbiage I don't understand. Hmm. You will. You've already lost ten seconds of this. You have twenty seconds left to make a decision. If you choose option two, then we shall fight for our lives. And I did say I am an honorable man. I do fight with honor. I will not have my soldiers aid me in slaughtering all of you. You all will fight the Tempest of Koldar and you will find to know why they call me that. Begins to reach for his two swords and he unsheathes them from his back and he stretches his arms out. Five seconds. Option one. Or option to join Koldar in our efforts to destroy Moritai and save all of Ashai, or die here today like the dogs that you are. Shit. Press start. <laughs> <Call the game. laughs> 
Stella points out the peace sign, but it's just to signify that she wants option two. Last time we saved. All right, so <laughs> oh y'all, Jesus, y'all choose an option two. So well, I chose it. I don't speak for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> when Stella starts rolling up and fighting and talking shit, what choice do we have? Uh. He's talking shit first. I mean, oh. yeah, he's an asshole, but he's on our land. We ain't got no choice but to fight his. Oh, he's a colonizer. That's true. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, she's his scimitar. Ashina has her glaive out, and she just looks at the four of you. Ashina's like, "Fuck yeah!" <laughs> if we die, we die an honorable death. Oh, but if we survive, know. we take out one of the most powerful generals of Koldar. Let us fight together. Show him no mercy, friends. I ain't got nothing to give. All right. So, Roy, are you joining uh, them in this? And Yome? Yome has an Anya reaction face right now. <laughs> <laughs> and you, pupils, and she looks like she's going to be sick. You can see General Renat, he as he's looking at you, he then states, your time is up. It seems you've defaulted to option two. This is a shame, such a shame to allow such skilled warriors such as yourselves to fall to my swords. You could have made a name of yourselves in Koldar. You could have saved the Shai from the damned god Moritai, but you've chosen to remain blinded by the alliance and your stupid names. And as he looks at you, he begins to walk slowly at you guys. And all the soldiers, they put their weapons down, or they sheath their weapons as they're watching, and they begin to cheer. Yeah! It becomes like a... They're surrounding the canyon, all cheering now. They want to see the fight. What is this, KOF? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're beginning the turn order. 24. Stella, you are um, first. What are you doing? She is going to... And I'll get rid of the samurai, just because you can walk over them if you need to. Cue in yeah. battle music. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. She's gonna cast... Actually, Stop at me. Drop at me. Who are you, you trying to beat? You already know. That's trash. But um, you have to beat a DC 16 wisdom saving throw for my vicious mockery. Alright. Vicious mockery, a DC saving throw. Okay. I rolled... Wait, is that wisdom? Okay, wisdom. All right, he's got a 17. Okay, well, there's that. All right, so vicious mockery. So you go to cast it. As you begin to spout out your vicious mockery tunes, he just continues to slowly walk towards you. It doesn't <gasps> seem to affect him. She runs behind Roy and grabs his leg. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> a spell caster. Hmm, it seems that you'll be one of the ones I'll take out first. Spellcasters are always the most troubling ones. What's he saying? She's got her fingers in her ears. He scares me. Anything else from you, Stella? Nope, I'm hiding behind the room. Okay, okay. <laughs> you don't work today. Yome, it's you. Okay. Yome's like, I don't want to get near that guy. Oh, you guys keep your aid, because that's eight hours, so you guys still have your hit points, okay? Unless you lost it, like Roy did. Yeah, well, yeah. he's the only one. Okay. <laughs> that's good. Uh, What else should I do? Oh, God. Oh, boy. I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> 15 feet. I'm going to use... Sacred Flame. Sacred Flame? I believe that's a spell saving throw. Scared. All right, so uh, I think it's a spell Dex saving throw. Dex saving throw. Okay. Oh, Dex, that's his best stat. No. Oh, God. I rolled a 19. <laughs> oh, okay. Would you have to beat my spell? Save, which is probably a 16 or 15. It's a 15. Okay, yeah. So... <laughs> oh Yome's eyes wide and she's like mouths gaping open as you cast <laughs> your sacred flame you can see your flame begins to appear and it goes to strike him he swings his right blade to the side and he just is able to knock it off from him before it hurts him okay, as he's I still guess. walking towards you 
spiritual weapon. Okay. Where do you cast it? Uh, even my spiritual weapon is scared. It's going to get cast right next to me. Okay. Go ahead and move it wherever you want. All right. It's going to go in front of me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, do you move anywhere? Uh, no. Okay. Roy, it's your turn. <laughs> Roy is going to do a bonus action first. He's going to touch his armor, touch himself, and All give right. him. Okay, now's not the time for that. <laughs> I don't. Give him I know five, you're about to die, but I don't know. Five uh, temporary hit points. Okay. What else do you then do? Then he's going to step forward. And he's going to cast Thunder Wave. All right. Is that an attack? Oh, it's uh, Constitution saving throw. Consti- yeah, Constitution 15? saving throw. I wrote a 17. <laughs> Does he take half damage on a save? Uh, Let me see. I'll check. On a failed save, or a... On, a failed save, takes... on a successful save, the creature takes half as much damage and isn't pushed. So he takes half of 10. So he takes five. All right thunder damage as you send your thunder wave towards him you can see very loud (laughs) he slashes his left sword in front of him he cuts your thunder wave in half as parts of it do hit his armor but not nearly only five damage oh no anything else for roy (laughs) you move or (laughs) no he's gonna stay right there okay it's his turn he continues to slowly walk, and as he looks at you, is that it? All long-ranged attacks. Do not disappoint me. I was really excited for this battle. Don't make this too easy now. I'm just warming up. You're just... fighting the Tempest of Koldar. Have some honor! And he, as he's walking, quickly begins to shuffle his feet he rushes at this point he's in front of you roy and he sidesteps to the side of you within seconds you see him right next to you he slashes both of his blades at you 16 i rolled plus that is gonna be a 26 oh fuck (laughs) does a 26 hit you yes oh all right his second sword that's a 25 (laughs) yes Oh, we got to run. We got to run, man. All right. So you'll be taken. <laughs> you will be taken. Let's see here. Well, I got to go to his stats on the other page. So that's going to be. Where are we going to fucking run? It's all <laughs> enemy <laughs> territory now. Pick a direction. <laughs> you just took 27 points of slashing damage. Oh God! And oh my as God! As he so does so, God. make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh no! <laughs> you said twenty-seven. Yes, total slashing. Why dex? Make it. You got to beat a sixteen. Make it. That's not a sixteen. <laughs> no, it's not. That's a seven. A seven. All right, I'll roll mm. this. <laughs> I hope this is like that time in Final Fantasy IX when you have to die. You take 16 points of lightning damage from his Mm. blades. And he comes around, because he still has movement left. And he comes in between Stella, Yome, and Roy. And after you both just see him go off on Roy, he spins around. And he takes his right hand and he stabs behind him at Roy again as he's looking (laughs) at Yome and Stella. He has three attacks. That oh. is a 28. Jeez. Yeah, I'm down. You Most likely. Take, yeah, you take uh, 22 points of damage. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. That's 17. I'm sorry. 17 points of damage. Oh, I only had three hit points left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> As he stabs back behind him, he's not even looking at Roy. You guys just see Roy within a second. He's being he's up. He just drops the ground, bleeding out. And he's looking at you, Yome and Stella. Hmm, casters. Your front line of defense is down. What will you do? You're next. 
show me what you are capable of. What do you do, Hota? Uh, you leave them be. Hota's going to Dark Souls roll past. <laughs> and he's going for the scimitar. Make me attack he's... with advantage. This is blood in his eyes now. Mm-hmm. 22. Make, make another roll because you do have advantage. You might get a crit. Okay, so 22 will definitely hit. So we're going to get that damage with the sneak attack. Nine points of damage. Okay, so he'll take nine. And as a reaction, he does get a reaction. So uh, Renak gets a reaction if he takes damage by a physical attack that's within five feet of him. Yeah. He may use a reaction. He uses counter. Mm. He attacks you. For a 22, does that hit? Oh, yeah, it does. You take 16 points of slashing damage as he counters you. Oof. And then... You got some temporary hit points. You got 10. Make me a dexterity saving throw. Well, I wasn't in range to get the temporary hit points. Oh, they last eight hours. I wasn't in range the first time. Yeah, you were. It was was only... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. So add 10 to that. So you have it's 35. It's like 30 feet. Okay. We were, yeah, you yeah. have 35 HP right now. There you go. Awesome. But make me a deck save before you can finish your... <laughs> Ryan said, but let me take him away. Oh, you take half damage. <laughs> What's half damage? You're about to find out. I don't want to find out. Half of that. Oh, fuck. Half of what? 21. Oh! <sighs> Remember, you round round up for damage, so that's going to be 11 points of damage. All right, now you can continue. That was his reaction. So as you cut him, he looks at you, Hota. Not bad. He quickly counters you, slashing at you with his blade. He cuts you deep. Oof. Oh, you think you're good, huh? Oh, yeah, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> Wait. I had uncanny dodge. <laughs> that work for deck save? No, this is... Oh wait, okay, he didn't attack me directly yet. Unless that counted as attack direct, a direct attack. Uncanny dodge. Let me dex. double check. This he it was a reaction for him. Okay, never mind then. So all right, so when an attacker that can see you hits you with an attack, you can use a reaction to have the attack's damage against you. So you'd have to use a reaction to half it. Oh, okay. It's still an attack. Consider an attack, even though it was a reaction. So you can use your reaction to his reaction to take half damage. Oh, yeah, it hurt! <laughs> <laughs> okay, dodge! <laughs> All right. Dodge. So you don't take 11. You take you take uh, half of that 11. So six points of damage instead of 11 points of damage. All right. Anything else, Hoka? <sighs> well. <laughs> <laughs> well. I could... No, we're going to keep him trapped in there. Okay. All right. Ashina's turn then. Ashina, she comes charging at him next to Yome and Stella, and she takes her glaive and she is gonna go to town. You just she yells out, screaming. She will make two attacks. The Twenty-two will hit. The thirteen will not. She is able to deal seven points of slashing damage. She comes from the side. She cuts him. He can't have more than one reaction in a round, so he's not able to counter that. And he looks over at her, samurai. Interesting. All right. It's second round. Stella, it's your go. All right. Stella, seeing that her meat shield and Roy has fallen, (laughs) (laughs) she's looking up with big eyes as General Renat casts a shadow, and she just, uh, with her hand behind her back, casts hideous laughter. All so right. you have to be the 16. 16 wisdom. All right. Let's see. It's from saving throw. Fall prone, fall become prone. incapacitated, and able to stand up during the duration. Okay. Let's fucking go. All right. So he rolled a 15. So the creature of your choice that can see within range receives everything as hilariously funny. It's of laughter. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or fall prone, becoming incapacitated and unable to stand up for the duration. And creature with intelligence which can't be affected at the end of its turn. Each time it takes damage, the target can make another wisdom saving throw. So if he takes damage, or when his turn comes, he can try to break out of it. You see, he begins to laugh. 
hilarious. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but he's technically run while he's laughing. He's technically incapacitated until the start of his turn, or if he takes damage, he gets to roll again. He's prone. We run. Someone pick the body up. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> That's my what turn. Do- <laughs> All right, yo man. What do we do? What do I do? I'm going to touch for Roy and stabilize him, I guess. Okay. Or, wait, can I heal him? Yeah, you can heal him. Get his health back. He's just his, health back. his health his back. His health back. His <laughs> Give him some hail. He's just going to go back down, though. <laughs> That's true, too. <clears throat> but can he's, we run? He's got to make death saving throws. Remember that. I know. See the damage just... Mm, I don't want to hood on that too. I you mean, see what damage you were doing? <laughs> you, you, you can run, but there's guards in your way. There's soldiers in your way. <laughs> hey, man, they ain't General Knock, though. They can get smoked. <laughs> yeah, they, they as long can get as this the smoke. keeps laughing, we might have a chance. <laughs> uh, I'm going to, I guess, get him stable. Is there a point in stabilizing him if I'm going to heal him? Probably not, right? I mean, healing him will stabilize him. Yeah. It's just that's a bonus action. Yomi's pissing her pants. Yeah, she don't fuck around. She be living in this shit, this war and stuff. She, she's not here for this. This is a bonus action. You're yeah. like, I'd rather fight Yaksha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These guys Pretty much at this, else. at this point, yeah. Oh, okay, I'll just use, yeah, cure wounds. So I'll touch okay. him. All right, heal you your... Cast a second level or higher. Healing increases by 1d. So if I cast it at third level then it's 3d8 yes 3d8 plus your wisdom my wisdom is like kind of trash oh it's not it's plus four <laughs> nice all right 23 points of hp roy you're healed for 23 all right roy you wake up you're lying prone on the ground you see general <laughs> ranak is laughing, laughing. <laughs> yeah all right switching from the, ele- the electricity that went through mm. you, you still have your bonus action yome for your spiritual weapon if you want yeah, but if I tag him, he's going to get up. That's true. Up to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, we, you should know we shouldn't stay. <laughs> That's what I'm around. saying. We should go. He, does he still get a chance to attack us? I mean, on his turn, he gets a chance to break free of the spell at the beginning of his turn. So I, I can mean, move? Just Are don't move him a turn. <laughs> at the yeah. end, or, I'm sorry, at the end of of its turn, and each time it takes damage, the target can make another wisdom saving throw. So, I mean, he'll eventually break free. Eventually. Because, I mean, he's always going to get a turn every round. It's just, does he get to attack, or is he still laughing? That's the case. Mm-hmm. We can't run, though. They're going to attack us. We're not gonna yeah. Run. They ain't going to get the smoke, too. <laughs> get in my way. I I want them to. <laughs> We gonna have to run fast. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> oh my god! All right, Yome is m- moving. Say, so if we all take the dash action, we can run sixty feet. <laughs> We're trying to get off the map. <laughs> trying to scoop up Ashina because she's probably gonna come, uh, be kicking and screaming. So that bitch is coming with us. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't, y'all made, uh, yeah, just so you know, you're, you're, you're in a canyon, so just because you leave the map doesn't mean you're out of their sight. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. just gotta be, we just gotta be faster than him. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Yomi begins to run. He already followed us all the way from <laughs> we escape. You think we can get away? Oh, no, I don't know what to do. You were the one talking shit to him. No, I didn't. All I did was make him laugh. Oh, he's laughing. No, oh, he's laughing. <laughs> I, I mean, that's all I can do unless I attack him. If you don't, if, I don't want to attack him with my weapon because it's like, all right, let's holiday. run. Fuck him. Ryan is like, you were not running from this fucking battle. <laughs> <laughs> can we talk it out? Hell no. He tried. We said no. You said no. He said, all right. He wanted us to join him in his evil deeds. Where the hell are our. This is the border. Where is the, where the fuck is uh like, border control or something? Patrol on the floor, right here, right. 
Oh, there's some over there. There's some right behind us. Look. Where's the rest of them? We have to protect the whole border, not just this one place. God damn. <laughs> Listen, I backed up. That's all I got. All right. Cool. Roy, you're still prone, so you have to. Don't have get knocked down again, bitch. Half your movement to get up, just so you know. Or it would yell out to Yome, where you going? Get the fuck out of here. Y'all are crazy as shit. <laughs> All right. So what do you do, Roy? I don't know. I know. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Rod's crying. <laughs> don't worry. I don't, blame I don't know. Him. We're almost done. We're almost done. Don't worry. Oh, man. I don't blame him. This fight's uh, terrifying. You see what he did to us? <laughs> Same thing to him? I don't really don't want to attack, but it's... Don't you goddamn do it. Get your ass up <laughs> get and get closer to me. Here. Get your ass up and get closer to me so I can heal you more. You gotta be like almost health. He won't get an attack of opportunity because he's technically, you know, unable to attack. You better back the fuck up. Bro. Yeah, he's gonna get up. Now that's half your movement. And you can use your action to double that half of your movement if you want. Up to you. Yeah. Yome, by the that. way, listeners, Yome is running further east towards more alliance territory. Yeah. They're 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 not running back towards Aloria right now. <laughs> oh hell no, yeah. I'm not. Not unless that fucking tree god's about to show up. Deer god. Deer god. Mm hmm. Yeah, he'll do that. Okay. So three feet. All right. Oh. Hopefully he don't get up. You guys. Can... Yeah. So his turn will end. So he'll make another roll. He just won't be able to do anything. And that is an 18. What does that have to be? Oh, why don't you run out, man? All right. All right. I'll, 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 I'll roll again. I'll roll again. Damn. Okay, okay. I need him on that ground. <laughs> well, he would still have to get up, right? There it is. God damn it. There it is. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Do we have anything? Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, I rolled a 17 there. Oh, man. So... I'll At try, the bro. end of its turn, so he doesn't have a turn. It's the end of his turn he gets to make that. You just hear his laughter begin to stop. <laughs> oh, your spells are fun, but they won't save you. Your jokes lasted while they did, but it's now the end of the game. That's his turn. Hota, what are you doing? He doesn't oh, have a turn because that's the end of his turn. No, Shana, I'm giving you a choice. <laughs> Either come with me, or I'm gonna pick you up. <laughs> just she she curses. Fine, I understand. Let's go. Bring that ass. We're out. Um, how heavy are you, Stella? Mm, he grabs heavy. her up, <laughs> <laughs> yanks her ass up. Make We're me running. Ath- make me an athletics save you or got a, it. Che- a check. Don't drop her. Don't drop her. Athletics. In fact, I'm gonna use my whispers of the dead since I've never changed it. And we're going to give that in some of my proficiency. So, athletics proficiency. Wait, there's more. <laughs> we're going to use the for, uh, fortune of the many to add a plus three to that. Okay. He's wiggling. Just like the corgis when you pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, wiggling. with a 13, Stella, do you allow him to pick you up? Yes. All right. You are able to grab, you yoink Stella up. You start booking it. Oh, we're huffing. Uh, just so you know, he's going to use a reaction to attack you. But he's on the ground, right? He's got to get up. He's got a disadvantage, but he still can use his reaction to attack you because you're leaving his threat angles. range. Yes. Yeah, we're leaving. <laughs> All right. So you or Instella begin to move away. Oh, throw a I rolled a 17 total. Uh, it. All right. You will take nine points of slash. I rolled low as fuck. Nine points of slashing damage. He said worth it. <laughs> All right. So Stella is also, I'll say, with you. All right. Hot, is that it? Uh, that's all you can really do. Yeah. Ashina, she just sighs, and she begins to run as well. I'll have your head next time, General Renak. And she is going to move. Level up if you think she's going to do that. All right. So the start of a new turn. At this point, Stella, what are you doing? You're in Hota's arms. You didn't get to attack Ashina Rui? No, he only gets one reaction per round. Oh. He used it on Hota. 
So are you all um, just going to continue running down the canyon? I'm going to say the canyon's fairly long. So even though that's the end of the map, that's, <laughs> okay. that's, that doesn't mean it's you're out of like danger just because you leave the map. So, but I'm assuming you all just been booking it then. Close. Yep. Okay. And I'm just going to. I miss. Oh, yeah. I just shot that, a random that, crossbow. Yep. Damn, that's, and some, it, that's some <laughs> Elroy shot right there. Right. <laughs> oh, just running and she's bouncing on his back. Oh, I missed. Oh, wait. Fuck Christina it. should be right here. There you go. She just puts the bow back and. All right. So as you shoot, you see it misses as he's about to get up. All right. And he, uh, well, you can't really move if you're being held by Hota. So unless you do any bonus actions. I'm assuming no, since you're just trying nope. to retreat. And before we continue, we interrupt this campaign with breaking information just for you adventurers. I love smoothies, but I don't love smoothie bar prices. With my BlendJet 2 portable blender, I can make smoothie bar quality beverages for a fraction of the price. BlendJet 2 is portable, so you can blend up a smoothie at work, a protein shake at the gym, or even a margarita on the beach. It's small enough to fit in a cup holder, but powerful enough to blast through tough ingredients like ice and frozen fruit with ease. BlendJet 2 is whisper quiet, so you can make your morning smoothie without waking up the whole house. It lasts for 15 plus blends and recharges quickly via USB-C. Best of all, BlendJet 2 cleans itself. Just blend water with a drop of soap and you are good to go. And with over 30 colors and patterns to choose from, there's a BlendJet 2 to complement just about any style. Just like Rogar, I rock the Champagne Metallic because I'm a certified badass. Well, maybe not as much as Rogar, but y'all get the point. What are you waiting for? Go to BlendJet.com and grab yours today. And be sure to use promo code TAVERNSCAVERNS12 to get 12% off your order and free two-day shipping. No other portable blender on the market comes close to the quality, power, and innovation of the BlendJet 2. They guarantee you'll love it or your money back. Blend anytime, anywhere with the BlendJet 2 portable blender. Go to blendjet.com and use the code TAVERNSCAVERNS12 to get 12% off your order and free two-day shipping. Shop today and get the best deal ever. And with that being said, let us now continue with our adventure. Yo, man, you just continue running? Uh, I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt, and then I'm going to run. Okay. So... So... I guess I could click on it so I could... Post it. Guiding Bolt. So I'm spell... Say my spell save is 13. That's wrong. Yeah, it is wrong. I rolled a two, so he's got a total of seven. Or he's gonna fail to do your damage. So it's we'll slot second level or higher. So I can do third, so So it's four D six radiant, and if you cast it five D six. Yeah, five D sixteen points of radiant damage. You shoot And then I'm fucking running. The radiant bolt and it hits him on the ground and he's almost pushed back slightly by it. Ugh. Not bad. All right. So you <laughs> just running run. and fucking chucking so, stuff behind us. Yeah. So you're just gonna just put yourself at the edge of the map because it doesn't matter even though you're at the edge of the map. We'll just say you're still running. my bonus action. Can I deal with that still? Yeah. Okay. Spiritual weapon's gonna bonk him. It misses. It misses. He blocks it. Roy, like, this ain't shit. What are you doing? He's gonna touch himself again and <laughs> give back. Another five points of temporary HP. Okay. And thinking about... He's going to cash Shatter. That was a uh, saving throw. 16 constitution saving throw. I rolled a 14, so he failed. So he'll take 16 thunder damage. All right. 16 thunder damage. You see as the thunder goes through, he's... And he's <sighs> booking it out of there. <laughs> All right. So you're at the edge of the map. Put yourself at the edge of the map. He's going to use half his movement. It's now his turn to get up. Unless there's anything else, Roy, that you can do. I don't think there really is. No, there's okay. not. Okay. So he uses half his movement to get up. I thought we were having an honorable battle. Now you're running. No one escapes General Ranak. Let me show you why they call me the Tempest of Koldar. And as he stands, he holds both of his blades up into the air. And as he does so, you all can see magical energy begins to swirl around his blades. And he looks at you and he slashes both blades down halfway 
to his torso, and then he lashes outwards as if he was doing a cross slash kind of movement. And I'm going to make a line because the canyon is about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Canyon is about 45 feet wide. You all see this wind magical energy come from his blades like an energy beam or a sword beam of sorts. And it is 50 feet wide. And it's coming for all of you. It's able to hit every single one of you. Oh my god. And basically, it's covering the entire canyon. As it oh, angle is moving forward, it goes through all of you, and I need you all to make me... Please not dexterity. <laughs> it's dex. Fuck. Dex save. Dex saves, yes. Oh, everyone's whole, everyone's rolling hot fire. But mine were Roy. No. Oh. <laughs> oh my. Okay. <laughs> everyone's rolling 19 Ooh. and above. God yeah. damn. Oh all my right. goodness. So let's go ahead and make a Sheena roll a deck save. No. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> and tried to place his with Roy. So she rolled an eight. Yomi rolled a 19. Stella with a 22, Hota with a 20, and Roy with a 20, Ashina with an 8. So if you rolled and succeeded, which all of you did, except Ashina, you take half damage. I'm going to roll the damage now. It's called, it's considered force damage, by the way. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm just going to have roll 20 do it, because that's a lot. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. fuck. No. <laughs> Not him saying, oh, fuck. <laughs> My shit didn't load yet. What, what we 49. 49 oh, no. damage. Half of 49 damage. You're bluffing. <laughs> I wish. It's 25 damage if you saved. A force damage. Ooh, I'm down. You went through your temporary hit points? Yeah, that's been gone. <laughs> now I'm down. You guys see the length or the width of the canyon, a gust of tempest wind like energy coming from his blades comes crashing through all of you. And it stings. Luckily, you're all wearing armor of some kind. You all get the feeling that if you did not dodge at least some of it like you did, you would have been cut in half. Ashina takes full damage. As you're all running, Ashina quickly turns and she sees this blade, or this blade, this wave of energy come her way. She pulls up her Naginata. To block it, it cuts right through her Naginata. Damn. And it cuts it in half. She only has had her katana left. And as it does, it cuts through her samurai armor. And she drops to her knees, bleeding out. She coughs blood. No! Hota drops down, almost cut in half by this attack. And as that happens, General Anak just stares at you. And when he does so, uh, his turn's not over. That was half his movement to get up, and then that was his special ability, because he is considered a very special enemy. Oh, we get that. Yeah. He <laughs> is going to use his quick step, or I should say shadow step. Rob, Robert knows what that is. Yeah. It's similar to what Yaito does. Yaito has misty step. Misty step. Mm -hmm. General Nock, he just sees two of you drop. Roy is hurt. And he... Oh, wait. Okay, no, never mind. He steps forward, and as he steps forward, the wind blows in front of him, and he vanishes. And he reappears next to Ashina Rui. He can't move far with it, because he is wearing heavy armor. Oh, no. That's pretty much as far as he can get... And as he he does so, oh, by the way, Stella, make me a dex saving throw or an athletics because Hota fell. He was carrying you. I want to see if you fall on your ass. <laughs> okay, so you, you were able to catch yourself. You fall on your feet as Hota drops to the ground. And as you drop to the ground, you see General Nock teleports or he appears next to Hota and Ashina. And as Ashina drops to both of her legs she attempts to pull her katana out as she's passing out 
Now she's passing out to try and attack him with her katana because she is at zero HP. He takes one of his blades and you see he swings it and he cuts her left arm off. Mm. Oh no, he's going to do her dirty like Tengen. As he cuts her left arm off, it goes flying as she just screams out in pain and goes unconscious. Just These guys from... love the arms and legs. Yeah, they do. Oh my and goodness. as she drops unconscious, she is bleeding out, about to die. And he looks over at Hota, who's down, and then the other three of you, who are still up. Where were you going again? Oh. This is not over. You chose your decision. Now die an honorable death. This is the best death you can have. One on the battlefield against a general, no less, of Cold Dar. And as he takes his sword and he's about to stab the back of Ashina before he comes at the rest of you. What how many attacks perception does he get? checks? Well this is just he's not gonna attack. He's just I'm saying before his next turn. It's just mm. flavor text. Make perceptions the three of you. Yome, Roy and Well Oh okay. we're fucked up. We're I too perceived focused. the ground. Yes. So the oh, three I can of you see her arm though. Yeah yeah you guys Lions. are fucked like fucking scared and before he can stab into Ashina just for flavor text because he won't be able to do it until his next turn anyways remember one round is six seconds so it's not like you know things take forever to do the if you got higher than a 10 Bri your character Stella she is fucked up you don't even see this but Roy and Yome see something begin to happen in the canyon from above you see those Kodarian soldiers begin to drop down from the ledges of the cliffs of the canyons where they're at. They all begin to fall to the ground with arrows the, in the their dead, backs. Dead? Okay. And they I come crashing, like to kill us. crashing down. And what you do see are Shimar and Samurai coming out of the blue to help your asses. <laughs> <Thank God. laughs> and as they appear all around the canyon surrounding you all now, a portal. A border patrol would help. A portal does appear behind your spiritual weapon, Yome. And as the portal begins to open, you see these energy animal spirits. They look like cranes come flying out of that portal. And they fly towards General Renak. And before he can finish off the Shida, and before he can do anything else to you guys, he turns around and he cuts into these. Think of Yaito's firebirds, except these are like green energy looking uh translucent cranes like the bird the crane birds like the god the omnikami crane of raicho they come flying out this portal and as he attacks them because they're attempting to strike him a couple of the cranes fly around hota and ashina and both hota and ashina you guys can see these energy shields appear around them to protect them from any further attacks and stepping through the portal, you see three individuals. One of them, you definitely know. Well, two of them, you definitely know. One is wearing a samurai armor. He's got a mask on. And as he steps through, he looks hardened and experienced as fuck. It's Lord Oshiro. Damn. Stepping out of the portal. And behind him, you see Omug. You coming out the portal. And then the third person you also know is Mizuno Omari, the priestess that you all met back at town many, many episodes back ago. Back all my sass. Yes. And as they step out, General Renak looks at Lord Oshiro. Lord Oshiro, he has his katana out. He's pointing it at General Renak. As he sees Renak, Oshiro yells out, Stand down, General. You are surrounded. We will kill you if you do not surrender. And General Nock, he turns his back. He doesn't even care about you guys anymore. He turns his back to all of you because he doesn't see you as a threat any longer. He looks at Lord Oshiro. Lord Oshiro of the Alliance. You have stepped foot onto the battlefield with me. You surround me and you threaten me with all of your samurai. Where is your honor? Fight me one-on-one, -on -one and we shall see who the better general is. And as he says so, Lord Oshiro just shakes his head. 
No. You have already dishonored yourself when you sided with Mori Tai. We have heard about what you've done. You have filled your men with the essences of the Yaksha. There is no honor in fighting you any longer, General Renak. You will surrender now, or you will die at my blade. And Omug steps forward. He Omug looks pissed. Because remember, Omug's friends with Ashina Uri as well as you. And Mizuno Amari, she's also friends with Ashina. Remember, Omug and Ashina are like her best friends, like her personal bodyguard. So Omug, he is pissed looking. He steps forward with his glaive. Omog is here. Do not worry, friends. Omog will protect. And as that happens, you see Mizuno Omari. She begins to float. And she places both her hands together as if she was praying. And these energy-like Tory gates, gigantic, spiritual, begin to form behind her once the portal closes. And as these Tory gates begin to appear, made out of spiritual energy... You see spiritual animals coming through the Tory gate. Cranes, tigers, elephants. And as these spiritual animals come out, you see the tiger spirit jumps onto Lord Oshiro. And you can see his armor begins to glow and his sword bursts into flames. The elephant spirit jumps onto Omug and Omug's skin begins to harden as his body turns almost into steel. And then the crane begins to fly over towards Lord Oshiro as well. And you can see these energy-like crane wings appear on his back. And he begins to fly into the air. She's basically buffing Oshiro and Omug at this point. And before they're about to strike, you see all the samurai pull out their bows. And they're aiming it down at General Renak. And General Renak just shakes his head at this. What a pity. You dishonor me, Lord Oshiro. I thought you were a man of honor to fight me like this behind your troops. Pitiful. And as he looks around, he understands he is kind of fucked at this point. Despite how powerful he is, he's fighting a fully pumped up Omug and Lord Oshiro. And you guys know Lord Oshiro is a powerful ally. He's one of the generals of Shimara, so he's no pushover. He's not as powerful as General Renak from what you've seen. But he's getting buffed like a motherfucker through the priestess that's behind him. And Omug there being there too. And General Renak, he looks over his shoulder at the three of you that are still awake. We'll have to deal with you later. It's a shame. And he steps forward as he just vanishes. He teleports away. He is running. He understands that there's no honor in this fight. And he's not going to take this fight because... He's not here to die. He was only here to accomplish a goal. Unfortunately, he did not accomplish it. But you see General Nock, he vanishes from your sight. And as he does so, we will end this episode of Taverns and Cats. Yeah, we're going to level up before we fight him again. Exactly. (laughs) Fucking Renock said, 1v1 me, bro. Nah. (laughs) Fuck. Damn. He said, no, nah, oh, man. No, nah, motherfucker, no. Nah. Hell no. <laughs> Buffs. Thanks again for listening to another exciting episode of Taverns and Caverns, everyone. If you enjoyed our shenanigans, we ask that you please leave us ratings and reviews on Apple iTunes or any other podcast platform that you use. Also, please be sure to check out the Taverns and Caverns Patreon for exclusive content that you won't want to miss. You can find me on Twitter at HaphazardDM. Yo, I'm Bri. I play Stella. And you can follow me on Twitter at Blaze underscore Nancy Bride King or NBK. I am Robert Jones and I played Hota Lu Bay. Uh, you can find me on YouTube, uh, Truebone, T R U B O N E. I'm Felicia and I play Yome. You can find me on Insta or Twitter at Dagger Tribal. I'm Rod or Rodimus playing Roroy Rice. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Rodimus7901 or at Instagram at Rodimus83. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Those are all of our players and our cast members for Taverns of Cavern Season 2. Until next time, take care.